Mike, we're in Yale. We've got two Europa Cups. Ooh. I'm just gonna jump in here because I didn't explain this very well at the start. After Chamonix, Dave headed home for a little break because he wasn't racing to world champs. So that left just me and Billy, and we headed to Zinao, staying with Swiss Peaks again for a few days training ahead of the races in Yaon. Back to the video. Got two Europa Cups, today and tomorrow. First run three, second run seven. It's like a weird day, night race. And we've got to kick this off the with some brand. Yeah, well, yeah, it's my birthday. Hey! Happy birthday. And here we go. We got tattoos. Get closer to 30. You start doing strange things. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a really weird program today. We go out at 11 for some two free runs on the race piece. We come back for lunch, 12.30. Then we go back out for inspection at two, race at three, second run, seven. So it's probably gonna be the longest race days of the season. So conserve energy. Conserve energy, don't spend it all at once. Hello. Who's thinking of the tats? Not my tats. You have to have a race tattoo. Do you reckon the tattoo? What is that? It's a wing. Why? <laughs> you need to get ta race tattoos. Come in. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at these. Now we get two runs to get a bit of a feel for the peace and the snow. The aim of these free runs was to both gain a bit of confidence on the slope and check the equipment. So I wanted to ski the slope at race pace, feel the terrain, the rollers, the pitch, the flat, and also feel the conditions, uh, what the snow was like and how that related to the ski prep. From there, we could decide if anything needed changing for the race. It's a weird uh, surface, isn't it? You've got like the sections that are pieced and like they have that sort of breaky, yeah. like crumbly corduroy on it. And then that you've got like... It vibrates a little bit. You what? It vibrates a little bit as well. Yeah. My dad had actually surprised me for my birthday and come out to watch the race. But Yam is a small place and I caught him the day before walking down the street to check out the race beast. Skied. Had lunch. Now we're going back out again. This is long. <laughs> Question is, was mirrored lens earlier? What lens now? I'm just gonna keep it in. You keep in mirror? Because it yeah, looks I mean. like it's still gonna be sunny. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna maintain the mirror to be questioned later. Okay. <laughs> Back to the beast. Another lost audio clip here from my GoPro. Ed was trying to give away more imaginary things on my YouTube channel. We'll be giving out a pair of head skis signed by Laurie Taylor. And we were waiting for someone to tell us we could start inspection. As the oldest on the race, Mark decided he had authority to say inspection open. This really is flying power. Oh. That'll start things off. Remember that. You say you watch the first guy. Just see how this comes to you. I think you're coming pretty quick into that. Into the pin, yeah, I reckon. And then you got one, two, three, four. Yeah. Had a little shimmy. A long walk up to the start. Yeah, it is actually. Through the forest. Piste is looking nicer than it did in the free skiing. And the course looks pretty good, pretty easy. A few sort of short ones in there and a couple of long offsets. Otherwise, pretty good. Bit of a full send hill. You gotta go.
Yep. You're probably as confused watching this as I was when I came out of that hairpin. As you can imagine, it's pretty confusing when you exit and there are no gates. And then the sinking feeling sets in and you knew that was a hairpin. Well, that was over awfully quickly. Not really sure how I managed to do that. Complete brain fart. Went into the hairpin, like verticali. Felt really good at the top. I was letting it go. And then suddenly there were no more gates. I was pretty confused. Billy was skiing good. Had a straddle. So, second run dinner club it is. Apple Android. Right, day two, next chance, let's go again. Today no free skiing on the race hill, so we're just heading out for a few warm-up runs, free skiing, before inspection, and then go. Same approach, approach was good, but this time, going the right way. Started off with coffees, we're going big today. Let's get this. I'll admit here, even though we weren't out on the hill yet, I was already paranoid about skiing combos the wrong way. So inspection was going to be thorough. Oh. Another day, another walk to the start. And we're sweating like hell. Ooh, it's hot. Spanish have set an absolute hauler. What appears to be a <laughs> Here's to be a drag race. First run complete. All combos the correct way. Praise the Lord. <laughs> now, still not even four o'clock. Inspection for run two is at six. So we can head back to the hotel and chill for now. I didn't get the video from Billy or the other guys, but unfortunately Billy was out and so were Rob and Ned. So just me going into the second run. Coming into the second run, the times were seriously tight. The course again looked like a hauler. And you know when it's like that, the foot's got to be all the way down on the gas pedal. Ready for the battle royale. Tonight battle royale. With how fast the course was and how tight the race was, I knew you really had to go for it to win the race. And so that's what I did. Result, the same as the day before, 
a DNF. But still, coming away from those races, I was really happy with my approach and the skiing I put down. Yeah, I would have liked a score on the board. But yet another experience to learn from, move forward and on to the next races. From there, it was a few days off and now already I am at the next Europa Cups before the World Champs. Now, the giveaway. I promised this last week and the giveaway that will be announced in the World Champs video is the Foos Out jacket. Very warm, not a salesman, sorry, but it's a good jacket. So to go in to win this jacket here on YouTube, drop the video a like, then go down and leave me a comment. Then over on Instagram on the giveaway post, tag a friend in the comments. You're not limited to tagging one person. You can tag as many people as you like. Then give it a share on your story. And if you're new to these videos and this series, you should probably hit the subscribe button too. That's not a requirement, but you know, would also be nice. More Europa Cups, World Champs coming up. So stay tuned. See you next week. Yeah. Go for a wing. Oh.